Oh, my name is Tony Penn, I'm from Port Piri. My name is Orlando Rubancha, and I'm from Calcarinji Community. Hi, my name is Rahim Anamajira, and I'm from Hammondsburg. And welcome, welcome to Yara TV. This is our first episode for 2024. Yeah, what's next? <laughs> <laughs>We enjoy so many visitors at URA and last term, Declan Miller, a comic book author who, along with others, has started a new company to help new upcoming graphic artists. What are you? My name is Declan Miller, I'm a graphic novelist and the creative director for Stick Mob Studio. I used to go to Centralia Middle School uh, with Rebecca as one of my teachers and she found out that I did a graphic novel and asked me to come on down and do a talk and show kids that there's a different way of learning about how to do graphic novels and how to express yourself creatively through different mediums. This is Declan. Um, I had the opportunity of working with Declan when he was a year nine student at CMS. Long time ago but he was just as tall. And I was super excited to see that he had had his hand in writing and coloring and involved in producing his own graphic novel. We're going to have fun with this. It's a real wide angle shot. So my whole job is to be able to create graphic novels. The bigger picture that we're trying to reach here is showing kids that there's a different way of learning and showing kids books like this that I never thought I'd be able to tell because of my learning disabilities of you know dyslexia and dysgraphia. I wanted to show kids that you may have these problems, you may not be as good at you know, reading or writing, but you can still express yourself and still tell those stories that you don't really feel like you can get out there. I had a lot of mentors that pushed me through, like Rebecca and a lot of other teachers and mentors growing up. So I want to be that for these kids. I want to be there for them and push them through whatever they want to do, whether that's doing graphic novels like this or you know, just doing something that's interesting and, and different from the norm. Health is important. At your nurses, Mr. Gilbert and Miss Susie work so hard to help us every day. At the end of last term, the dentist fan from Flynn Drive Dentist spent a few weeks with us. Hello, my name is Dr. Shady Fenke. I am a dentist at Flynn Drive Dental. We're a part of the Northern Territory Health Department um, and we're involved in the primary care team. Today we're at Urara College as a part of our remote programs. I think what we might do is start by giving you a good cleaning of all your teeth. All right. So essentially what it is is we service remote communities throughout Central Australia and Barclay region and we also have a school program which involves us going to various public and private schools and um, providing dental treatment. So, you know, we screen patients like we've got here today. We're going to make that aligned nice and well. What makes us really special is we're a part of the Stronger Futures um, program which is mainly for the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander patients that we see and our aim is preventative dentistry and health promotions. Like we're aware, um, dental caries is a preventable disease, so we want to get them young so when they grow up they have beautiful smiles and we don't need to take out teeth and we try and save them as much as we can. The most important thing to remember is nice circular motions with toothpaste. And then you could even get some floss, you know the big string, and floss between your teeth because see the brush can't get in between the two teeth. The bugs do get in between the teeth and make them dirty, yeah? Okay, so do you see how some teeth... 
So we're very, very grateful to come out to Yarrara College and um, provide our services and I have to say the kids I've seen so far are absolutely amazing and very, very receptive of the instructions we give them and yeah. We've been doing a lot of treatment so far so it's very, very rewarding for us. Thank you. <laughs> in our first week with our students, your staff enjoy many opportunities to continue their personal development. I'm Denise and this is my son Jared. Denise Kennedy and son Jordan Williams Kennedy from Gajala Indigenous Corporation ran workshops with staff exploring and developing a deeper understanding of trauma and cross culture perspectives with implications for teaching and learning. And give you a little bit of a glimpse into my cultural worldview. For me, it always feels strange to talk about myself. And it's from a cultural point of view because for Indigenous people, we think about things in terms of us and we, not I. So to stand up in front and be, be the one talking and be the centre of attention isn't really a cultural thing. So it sort of feels a bit uncomfortable. I've never ever felt comfortable standing in front talking because that's, that's my cultural worldview. We're here because there's strength in kinship. There's strength in family. There's strength in relationships. That's what sustained us. That's what's kept us here and being able to practice our culture for so long. It's because of kinship. I found being a teacher in a classroom for a very long time that you have to establish the relationships with your students, with the kids. Because once you do that, it's that relationship that will get them to do the work, that will get them to do the things that you might ask them to do. Ian McAdam and Darren Telpade from Right Tracks Red Tails Pink Tail program held a leading teams workshop during which staff explore goals and ways to engage our students. And, um, they had two teams, we only had our and the ladies ended up with one. We're gonna go! One of our stories next week, Rona Inkamala, Yara's Language and Cultural Development Officer, shared some of her vast knowledge of Central Australian plants and medical properties. This one's sticky blue rod. It feels sticky, uh, but we call it pinja pinja. <laughs> The past that are rare, that's push medicine. This one for cold and flu symptoms too. This past that are rare. So you can put that in your pillow. Yeah. And smell it, inhale it. Yeah, but we can make it into an ointment. Use it as a chest rub. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to catch us every Friday. Stay, Stay safe, safe, make, make strong choices, choices and look after, after each, each other. Bye! Bye. <laughs> hey, let's have a take number two, people. Take three, number two. Three, two, one.